Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details and today I'm bringing you some unit upgrade content in the form of new lighting and shelving. All I can say is that by having various levels of lighting in slightly different shades varying from 5000 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin is going to light up your unit to a point where every last defect in automotive paintwork is clearly visible. I've recently bought an additional 10 5000K 30 watt floodlights which are going up around the top parts of the walls so they will be covering the complete internal diameter of the unit and I've also purchased 4 additional 6500K strip lighting to join the other 4 that are currently on the side walls. The 10 floodlights are going to be put up on either wall so the left hand side and the right hand side so 3 in total for each wall. Then two lights will be going up at the back of the unit and will be facing inwards and then the last two lights will be going at the front of the unit and also facing inwards. These floodlights are going to shine downwards at a 90 degree angle to help with the visibility of swirls and scratches and to also help with ceramic coating residue removal. These lights are also going to offer additional lighting to the unit to generally light up the cars. The four new 6500K battens going in on either side of the unit are once again going to light up the cars even more and to help with ceramic coating residue removal. Whilst we're on the topic of unit upgrades, I have been contemplating on getting a scissor lift and to get the floor tiled, however I'm going to hold fire on those rather expensive upgrades because I don't plan on staying in this unit for too much longer. I have wanted some additional lighting for the unit for quite a while and with them being nice and easy to move over to the new unit without much of a financial expense, I thought it best to upgrade the lighting sooner rather than later. My electrician is a chap called Graham from GC Electrical who is based in Stafford and he's done all of the electrical work in my unit so far, which I'm incredibly happy with. Today he's got the job of fitting 14 new lights plus wiring in a new light switch which makes a grand total of 35 fixed lights in my rather cosy unit. It is a good job that all of these lights are low energy consumption ones otherwise my electric bill would be considerably high. Whilst Graham fits the new lighting I'm going to crack on with putting together my new storage units which were purchased from B&Q. I have put links to all of the new additional upgrades in the description box below. This is as fast as I can speed the footage up whilst using Movie Studio Platinum 15 so please bear with me. These storage units believe it or not are going to offer me additional storage space within the unit for things like polishing pads, masking tape, general accessories and microfiber towels. The storage cubes were super easy to put together and they will certainly make a nice new addition to the unit. I didn't capture much of the lighting installation process so whilst I do show you the bits that I did capture, I'll talk to you about the cost of today's unit upgrades. The storage cubes and baskets which you'll see shortly came in at a grand total of £80 which has certainly been money well spent. The storage cubes cost £28 each and the baskets are £3 each. There are different colour combinations that you can choose from, although I personally like the grey wood, the grey baskets and also the blue baskets. The LED battens are £34.99 each, so for the additional 4 new ones came in at a grand total of £139.96. The 30 watt floodlights are £21.49 each, which came in at £214.90 in total. Graham's labour charge for just over a day's work was £240, so the total cost of today's unit upgrades is £674.86. I have been incredibly busy with putting together other types of YouTube videos since recording the footage on this one, so I have been detailing away inside the unit for quite some time with these new upgrades. Whilst we are covering the topic of lighting then I will quickly point out that yes with a small unit like mine then lots of decent and suitable lighting is important, however nothing beats knocking off all of the light and keeping the doors closed and to inspect the paintwork with a good old trusty scan grip handheld. By focusing on only one light source without any other light distraction will enable you to inspect the true condition of the paintwork to the finest degree. By having all of these lights enables me to work in a well lit area to ensure that my standards are always on point. 
As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.